Tesla factory workers in Buffalo, New York have announced yesterday that they're campaigning to form a union. Unfortunately, it's not going to be an easy task considering their chief executive, Elon Musk, is very much against labor organizing. But let's talk about what the plan is, what they would like to see changed at this Tesla factory, and then we'll go from there. Now, the effort is being led by the company's autopilot analysts who help to develop the autopilot technology in the vehicles. Now, the autopilot analysts also hope to unionize the other manufacturing workers at the Buffalo or Tesla factory. Now, like other workers who decide to organize, they have issues with pay, but they also have issues with working conditions. So, according to Bloomberg, these analysts are hired at a starting pay of around $19 an hour. Which seems pretty low considering how <laughs> successful Tesla is, how expensive the vehicles are, and how much work these people put in every single day. I mean, they're working incredibly long hours. And by the way, they receive very little sick time. One of the workers, Zara, says, as much as I love my job, it can feel very disheartening living paycheck to paycheck when I work for one of the most successful companies in the world. And that is why I'm exercising my right to unionize. And Francesca, I will say now is the time to do it because the NLRB, the National Labor Relations Board under the Biden administration has been relatively good. And I'm saying relative because other administrations have had pretty abysmal <laughs> National Labor Relations Boards. Um, but in yeah. this case, you know, they have stepped in to protect some of the workers from Starbucks, for instance, after they were retaliated against for wanting to organize their workplace. So more power to these workers at Tesla. I hope they go forward with it. Oh yeah, I think it's incredible. And and it, it also is not a big morale boost when the head of Tesla Elon Musk is off like running his mouth on Twitter, whining constantly about how, you know, his tweets, no one's engaging with them. Now you must change algorithm. Like he is a terrible um figurehead for this company. And I think shareholders think that, and now you see workers think that. So it's not only it's it's all of it at once, right? You see your own CEO um clearly just wasting money left and right buying up companies over like for way more than they're worth gallivanting over to the Super Bowl to chill with Rupert Murdoch hell yeah you're going to unionize and $19 an hour is nothing insane are you kidding me and finally look that is a very particular subsect of Tesla workers. These are the people who are keenly aware of how your autopilot does and does not work. And we have seen the crashes on the Bay Bridge in San Francisco. We've seen people um, like like these pileups caused by a Tesla that was on autopilot. We've seen the, remember the dude who used to work at Tesla, who was his job was to take him for test drives. He posted videos to YouTube, he was fired for that, even though Elon Musk knew he was doing that. So all of these things, this is a group of workers you wanna keep happy. Yes. They got the dirt on how bad your autopilot function actually is. And how far we are truly from self-driving cars. Don't at me about that, you know we're far. Yeah, and no, so you're- we're much you're totally yeah. right about that. I just wanted to really reinforce what you just said because you know the Elon Musk fanboys are totally like, oblivious to what's really going on with these vehicles and how they're not in any way ready to be you know, driverless. Um, but the, the other thing I wanted to just quickly mention is not only do you wanna keep them happy, you want to avoid overworking them, especially mm. considering this is the feature that's really a selling point for Elon Musk's cars, right? So um, give them some time off. The fact that they can't take time off is insane. No, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and 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 like and also I think it it goes to, to this idea that we have in this country of like prestigious brands. You know, Tesla's sort of seen as you know, so it's a um, it's a status symbol, right? You own a Tesla, status symbol, right? And yet, it also is like an electric car, right? So it's a status symbol of sort of elite liberal, you know, mm -hmm. ideology. Mm -hmm. um, and those are also the libs that do not want to be supporting a brand that is crappy to its workers. I mean, you know, the give or take, I'm not saying every Tesla owner, but ultimately, I think a lot of it does not behoove the brand overall, which is really appealing to that base when they know that you treat your workers like crap. Absolutely. And one other thing I'll mention in regard to how the workers are treated, 
There's all sorts of insane surveillance and monitoring happening. Um, so workers at the plant told sure. Bloomberg that Tesla, like other corporations, unfortunately, uh, monitors keystrokes to track how long employees spend per task and how much of the day they spend actively working. This leads some to avoid taking bathroom breaks, six employees said. People are tired of being treated like robots, said Al Selly, a member of the union's organizing committee. I just, I don't understand that obsession that corporate executives have, okay? There's a workload and the employee has to get the work done by a certain deadline. Why are you surveilling them all day? Like, I just don't get that. It's so stupid and it creates this, I mean, it's communicating to your employees that you don't trust them. That you think they're lazy losers and you have to constantly like watch them like a weirdo. Like, I, I, yes. that's not going to help your situation, <laughs> it's crazy. No, no, not at all. Yeah. I mean, and it's become so much more commonplace now with the pandemic. Like people who, again, are making as little as 19 an hour, like we got to monitor their keystrokes. Stop it, stop. And it's a fight. I love it. I love that it's a fight. And I love that we get to troll Elon Musk when this union goes forward and we get to be on the side of the workers once again and rub it in his face. So, yeah. It, it is pretty I'm, delicious. I'm looking forward to the fight. Yeah. And he is um, notoriously anti union. So uh, I can't wait to hear his comment on this, but I hope it doesn't deter the workers. They should continue organizing, they should continue fighting because they deserve protection and they deserve better working conditions and pay. It's that easy, that simple. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.